there, it's Tamara from the Naked Nutrition Kitchen and I'm back again today with a dessert, something very lush and decadent and um, as it's nearly Christmas time and everyone's celebrating and wanting to create parties and lots of festivity things, um, this might come in handy as an alternative to your normal kind of heavy sugared dessert. So what I'm going to use today may surprise a few of you, and well, it's no surprise I love avocados, so that's absolutely going to go in there. Um, so I've got an avocado, I've got a banana, I've got some almond milk, and some cocoa, pure cocoa powder, okay? So that's one, two, three, four ingredients, very simple, no sugar, no artificial anything, okay, just natural food. Um, it's raw, so it's not going to keep forever. Um, just be aware that uh, when things don't contain lots of sugars, they don't stay fresh for very long. So keep it in the fridge or eat it straight away, um, and you know that's no problem. But the, the banana and the avocado, as we all know, tend to go brown after a while. So that's always, um, it's always good just to make and eat. What I'm going to do. I'm just going to take the avocado out of here. Twist. Ooh, chop my finger off. Put the avocado into my blender here. And this is going to make an awful lot of noise in a second, but that's okay. Um, bear with me. I'll just take the skin off this, put the avocado in there, and, um, and away we go. It's a very simple, such a simple diet, well, recipe. And in fact, if you're, you know, sort of on, on any kind of um, sugar-free, glut uh, not gluten, gluten, but um, lactose-free diet, then this kind of dessert is ideal, right? So, and you'll be surprised. It's really, it doesn't sort of taste of avocado either. It's it's not a powerful, sort of an overpowering flavor. So I've got the avocado in there. I'm gonna put the banana in there. I'm gonna put my almond milk, that goes in. That's kind of important to get everything moving. Um, otherwise it gets all kind of gloopy and thick and sticks to the sides and well, we know how that goes. So I'm going to put about four tablespoons of cocoa powder in here as well. I'm going to eyeball this because my measuring spoon is broken. It's been used so much it's actually lost its head. So <laughs> it snapped off. So it's four tablespoons of cocoa powder goes in there as well. Okay. You want to have, you know, it wants to be very dark, pure cocoa powder for this. Quite bitter um, because that's what gives it this really sort of rich thick taste. And then to add to that, I have it here, a little bit of vanilla salt. So um, as opposed to, it's not sugar, it's just a touch of salt, which brings out the flavor of the chocolate. And um, it's got some vanilla in it too. So that's really handy for cooking these kinds of dishes. I'm just going to put a pinch of that in there as well. Okay, now I'm going to cover it up and make an awful lot of noise for a second or two. So bear with me. <laughs> I don't know how these blenders are. They never quite work in one go, do they? I used to have a Vitamix, but it blew up for some reason. I think I overused it, or the power of source was too strong or something, but it literally blew up. There was a big bang, a spark, and the whole thing just literally evaporated. So I really miss that, so I'm going to have to purchase one of those again. But meanwhile, we have this one, which um, still works. So I'm going to give it another whiz. <laughs> about do it. See how that, looks. Oh, that looks pretty good to me. So there we go. As you can see, that's ever so thick and creamy. And the great thing about this actually is that because it is really kind of rich, you know, and it's the, the avocado and the banana, it's very thick, you, you won't want to eat too much of it actually. You know, a, a small amount is enough, whereas the normal cho sort of chocolate mousses that you buy or make yourself with eggs and cream, butter and chocolate and sugar, they're actually very moreish. And I find that, you know, you want more and more and more and more. And before you know it, you've eaten like a whole tub of this chocolate mousse, which, you know, you're not going to feel too good about that afterwards. So here we are. How lush does that look? I don't know, really. Okay, so there you have it. That's my avocado and banana chocolate mousse. 
And I think that's a great um, addition to any kind of Christmassy dinner party or, you know, just, just any party really or just dinner um, as an alternative. And it's also really good uh, for topping muffins. So if you, you know, you want to have frosting for muffins or any kind of cake uh, covering, instead of making the, the usual sugar and butter frosting, you could always try that. It might work. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Bye. See you soon.